All right, I'm back again. Didn't we just uh, meet yesterday? Well, I'm back today for another presentation. Today we're going to talk about how to get more REM sleep. Normally, a person will go through 90-minute cycles of sleep, okay? Between four and six of these cycles with different levels or stages. More deeper levels of sleep, that's called non-REM. And then you have a superficial level of sleep, which is called REM. Now, the non-REM sleep, which is the deeper delta wave sleep, occurs more in the first half of the sleep. And this is where you get body repair, you get detoxification, you get rejuvenation, you get more growth hormone stimulation. But then you have something called REM sleep, okay? What is REM sleep? REM is the more superficial sleep. It's the second half of your sleep. And this is where most people have the problem. So most people get the first part of the sleep, but they're not getting that second half. They're not getting that full REM sleep. What's very interesting about REM sleep is that the wave patterns or the brain activity is almost identical to when you're awake, but you're actually in this sleep state. Now you would think if the brain activity is very similar to being awake and the REM sleep is actually using sometimes even more energy than the awake state, you might wake up from this dream state actually exhausted and feeling like, wow, I just ran a marathon. Well, that's because you did. Your brain in that REM state has actually used more energy, which is pretty wild. But here's another interesting thing about the REM stage. You actually get more mental rejuvenation in the REM stage than you do in the non-REM stage. So in the non-REM stage, you're getting more physical rejuvenation. In the REM stage, you're getting more mental rejuvenation. So you wake up feeling more mentally rejuvenated, more uh, improved memory, better learning. Interesting. Now in the REM stage, you're getting low muscle tone, you're dreaming, I just mentioned that. You're getting a massive stimulation in the brainstem that's causing this state, and you're getting a lot of acetylcholine being pumped out. That's a neurotransmitter that's causing this state, and you're getting virtually no activation of the uh, serotonin or noradrenaline or adrenaline. And in REM sleep, you are more sensitive to temperature. So if the temperature is too cold or too hot, that can inhibit that stage. So now what does all this mean? What can we do with this data? Well, number one, we want to make sure that the muscles around our brainstem are completely relaxed when we go to sleep. I'm going to put a video down below of how to achieve this. You can either do this to yourself with a, a torture, I mean a treatment device like this, putting this back in your neck, these two little things right in the back, right underneath your, your skull and lay back on a chair and let this device melt those muscles around your brainstem, or you can have someone press into the, the point right underneath your neck, and I'll put a video link down below to show you how to do that, but it's a great way to relax the muscles around the brainstem because if you go to sleep with all this tension in the upper part of your neck, um, it's going to be very difficult. All right, number two, you want to get your breathing balanced, and I've done videos on this. What happens when you have difficulty sleeping is usually your breathing is off. Usually your breathing is like, <sighs> the inhalation is not the same as the exhalation. So you want to synchronize the two. You want to breathe in three, four, or five seconds and breathe out three, four, or five seconds. Make sure that they're equaled up. Sometimes it'll be three seconds in, three seconds out. Sometimes it'll be four seconds in, four seconds out, but you want to just focus on your breathing. That will start to send signals into the brainstem through the vagus nerve to help you get into this state. All right, number three, you want to adjust your blanket to make sure your temperature is correct. I know with my wife, she needs a thicker blanket. I use a thinner blanket, sometimes even a sheet. All right, number four, you want to increase your acetylcholine. How do you do that? Vitamin B1. You can do nutritional yeast. You can do other types of B1, make sure it's natural, but take a little B1 before you go to bed. B1 is very important in your sleep cycles, especially when you're making acetylcholine and especially when you've been through a lot of stress. B1 counters stress. B1 helps you counter nightmares. Anytime you have nightmares, that means you need more B1. All right, number five, stress. Stress is the biggest barrier to your sleep. You're going to have to find out whatever's behind the stress and deal with it. 
do something to improve it because the stress is the number one thing that will keep you out of both REM sleep and the non-REM sleep. Anyway, that's my summary on how to get more REM sleep. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.